welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm George. Today I'm here in Clapham Common in London and behind me there's a pond which I believe is called Mount Pond. I'm going to be doing a plain air painting of this scene behind me. So most of my favourite plain air paintings tend to have one thing in common and that thing is water. And I've actually heard that just by seeing water can improve your day, can reduce anxiety so it is something which is built into the human psyche to like but it is also something which is very tricky to paint because in a way it's definitely there but it almost isn't there because it's transparent or at least translucent but it's very reflective so the color of the water is mostly determined by whatever is reflecting into the water so it's certainly an enigma to paint but something that I really enjoy painting so we're going to try and get this scene in, maybe paint a few of the birds which are in abundance around me and remember to please subscribe to my channel and let's start painting. I start by sketching a basic grid onto my panel using thinned down raw umber paint. This helps me place the features of the scene by checking the horizontal and vertical relationships between the different components in the scene. Now that I've painted the position of the horizon and the trees with their reflections, I'm starting to add some colour to the scene. To paint the green for the leaves in the willow tree, I'm using a colour mix of yellow ochre, cadmium yellow and ultramarine blue with a small touch of pyrrole red just to take away a bit of the chroma from the green I'm also applying the paint thinly to this section by adding a bit of solvent to my paint mix and scrubbing the colour into the panel. As I want this section to dry quickly so that I can paint a lighter value for the sky breaking through the leaves on top of this later on. To paint the trees in the horizon, I'm using a paint mix of raw umber, alizarin crimson and titanium white to capture this warm brown of the winter trees. Here I'm painting the lightest lights in the sky, and in fact the lightest areas of the whole painting, which are these upper sections of the clouds which are catching the sunlight. I'm using a colour mix of titanium white with a touch of yellow ochre that I apply thickly using a clean brush. I find it helpful to paint these lightest areas early on in the painting, partly as this establishes the value range for the painting, so I can compare other tonal values within the painting against these, but also because on a practical level, I can paint a very light value very cleanly onto the dry surface of my panel. Whereas if I were to try and paint this light value later on, once I've put more colors onto the panel, I might mix with these other colors on the panel, making this really light section on the cloud look a bit darker and a bit duller. To paint this tree on the right hand side, I'm using a colour mix of raw umber and ultramarine blue for the main branches and the trunk of the tree. I'm applying the paint using a fine filbert brush and adding a bit of medium to the paint so that the paint becomes a bit looser, making it easier to paint these fine thin lines. Using a colour mix of yellow ochre, alizarin crimson, raw umber and titanium white, I'm painting the lightest sections of the reeds. To paint these small straggly branches at the ends of the tree, I'm using raw umber paint mixed with a touch of titanium white and I'm not trying to paint every branch rather I'm just dragging the paint into the sky mix creating a soft effect. The colour mix that I'm using to paint the general colour for the sky is mostly titanium white with some ultramarine blue raw umber and a small touch of alizarin crimson making this mix a purplish grey.
So as I've been painting these clouds, they've moved a bit and a bit of blue sky is now breaking through. So often when painting plain air, changes will emerge in the scene as you work and you're faced with the decision to change your painting or keep it how it is. And in this case, I think a bit of blue sky makes the scene look better, so I'm gonna add this in. Here I'm using the pointed edge of a filbert brush to paint some tree trunks and branches in the distant trees. As this section is far away, I don't need to add much detail as I'm keeping most of the trees as this soft brown haze that I painted early on. Now I'm painting the reflection of this willow tree into the water. I'm using a color mix of ultramarine blue, yellow ochre, and raw umber paint. And with reflections, it's helpful to remember that the overall reflection will be darker than that which it is reflecting. Here I'm painting the water in the foreground. So the foreground is where the darkest section of the water is. And as the water gets further away, it becomes lighter in tonal value as the reflections of the clouds have more of an effect. Also, as the wind moves across the pond, the ripples in the water change and the pattern of the reflection changes too. I find it's helpful to pick a pattern and stick with it, as often trying to chase the water's movement whilst the paint is wet can cause the reflections to lose their sharp contrast in tonal value which is characteristic of water. Also trying to chase the reflections as the scene changes can be quite frustrating as the water is never going to stay still for you. So I really do find it helpful just to pick a pattern in the water that I like and then just stick with it. So I don't think it would be truly possible for me to capture this pond in Clapham Common without painting a little bit of wildlife into the scene. So here I'm painting a goose and this adds a bit more visual interest to the painting and also I like landscapes which have some life in, whether that's a person or an animal. And as I paint this bird I'm positioning it so that it's swimming towards the middle of the painting and this helps the composition as it leads the viewer's eyes into the scene as opposed to leading the viewer's eyes out of the painting which would happen if the goose was facing the other way. So in a sense the position of this bird works as an arrow leading the viewer's eyes into the composition. So I hope you enjoyed that video of me painting here in Clapham Common. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. So as I've been painting, the sun has actually came out and the scene has changed quite a bit. There's a lot more blue sky, which is really nice, but 
I did change the paint in a bit as the sky changed but I didn't chase the light too much as I'd already got quite a lot of the painting down before the blue sky started coming out. Remember you can keep up to date with my artwork on my Instagram which is George Frederick Thomas. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.